cute little piggy planner. Vintage Uprise in Texas. I wanted to show you a haul today from the weekend that I spent with uh, some other YouTubers. We all met up in the north part of uh, Houston. It was a uh, vintage conversation, Martha and Christy with Tippy Winks uh, Vintage and Beth with uh, Carolina Sweet Treats and Pretties. I have a video from us thrifting um, in the couple of uh, antique malls that we went to. And you need to check check them out, check theirs out. Those girls were a hoot. We had a blast, we had fun. But I'm gonna show you what I got and then you can go check out their videos and see what they got. And we'll start here. I love this color, this bright blue, Colbert blue, square, glass basket it's it's adorable I just the color I would love to put this in a window and let it shine but I found this actually Christy was doing a lot of shopping for me finding me things and passing them along to me so isn't that beautiful um I don't know I couldn't find a name for this so if y'all know what it is the pattern or the name of this style leave it in the comments below for me because I I couldn't find anything on it then I got this sweet little planner of a little boy blowing his horn yeah he's blowing his horn at a bird next to a tree trunk this little vase um, it's Japan. It says Japan on the bottom. It's in good condition. No, no chips, no cracks. Nope. Nope. It looks good. And I thought that was really sweet. And then I got these cuties. I didn't take the, take the little ribbon off of him yet. These are Lufton salt and pepper shakers. Look at those eyes. They're just so bedazzled. So, so cute. They're Lufkin and made in Japan. These are such cute owls. You see they both have their stickers. Look at those eyes, so twinkly. And those are in real good condition. Then I got this. This little glass egg trinket dish. It's hand painted on the top. It is a Westmoreland. Westmoreland trinket dish egg. It's in real good condition. Now it does the only flaw I can find on it is on the inside of the top there if you can see that little chip there now that that seam when it's put on it looks good now isn't this precious this deer Blue Mountain Pottery is what it is. I love the colors of that bluish green, mostly green. It has a little tint of blue. But isn't it precious? It's a little fawn. It's in great condition. Blue Mountain Pottery. Blue Mountain Pottery. Very cute. 
Hear my dogs running. They think they see something outside. Then we have this cute little planner. One of the little piggies uh, playing the violin. Yeah, he's playing a violin. I thought maybe he was carrying some wood, but it's a little planner. And I don't see nothing wrong with him. He looks good. He's in real good shape. The little house. Cute little piggy planner. Then I got this little vase. It's a wider vase. Um, great for an air plant. But look at those feet. The little feet on the bottom. All the way around. I need to take this ribbon off. And I love that orange, those orange flowers. And it's a, is it? Mm. I don't know, it has a, just a number on the bottom of it. 969, or is it 696? I don't know. But that's cute. If y'all know anything about this, if it looks familiar to you with those little feet and toes, let me know in the comments below. I just thought that was really cute. Haven't tried to look it up. And then I always, not that I should, but I do, especially if I see it at a good price, I always pick up Raggedy Ann and Andy. I don't have this. This is from 1978 and they're magnets. But I thought those were cute. Very cute. Very, very bright and colorful. I collect Raggedy Ann and Andy. Yeah, see, they're magnets. I'm keeping those. And here we have this adorable little teapot. I love the wood grain look and that handle. I need to take this ribbon off too, didn't do that yet. It's a squirrel handle, so cute. And I guess the top is, it's nut, it's going for. But look at that Indian, the Indian head on there. Just a little bit of painting and it's, yeah, I guess some of the painting has worn off, but it is so cute. So this is probably, a souvenir piece. You can see the squirrel better on that side because it says New Mexico on it. Oh, and there's an owl. Is that an owl? Oh no. Looks like an owl right there. A little, <laughs> but that says New Mexico. And some more nuts there. So this is probably a souvenir piece, but I just love the Indian on the back side of it that, and the squirrel that attracted me to this piece. So we have that little teapot. And, you know, I didn't get a whole lot. I'm trying to be pickier. And then we got this set of candlestick holders. These crystal candlestick holders. Now, I don't know the name of these. I haven't found these yet. Look them up. But see the design that's etched on? Etched on in the bottom. But that's a real pretty design. If you can see that. And I love the design of this. But there's two. Let me hold that one like that. Got these. Aren't those precious? And then the last thing I got, the 
last two things. I got these tins. I'm seeing a lot of tin collectors and and these were really cute. I, if this is like a canister set. It was only the single one. It has the lid as if it's a canister set. I assume, I don't know if this originally went with it or not, but, or was there a whole set of this? But it's a tin. But I like the design on it. I thought that was really cute. And it's really big. You can store your cookies in there. And then we have this one, this little so oval picnic sewing container maybe. I don't know. Whatever you choose to use it for. Little picnic basket looking thing. I love these handles. They're not just flat. They're they're kind of rounded. It's kind of hard to tell but they're they're not just flat and round they're, they go up a little bit up here but I thought that was really cute with the flowers on it is that better and I mean everybody needs a pretty box to to hold their stuff Show you the inside. It's a really cute tin. I love the handles on it. So this is all I got. It was a small haul, I told you. We were too busy visiting and, and cracking jokes and stuff to really... Um, although it took us forever through one mall, we spent... The first hour in the very first booth when we got there looking at everything um, we went and had lunch together and then hit up another mall after that but um, you'll have to check out their videos and I will leave their links to their YouTube channels in my description below so you can go check out what they got and check out their footage of us being all cackly hens uh, the workers there had a Keep coming around the corner and saying, you know, what y'all, what y'all, what's so funny? What are y'all cracking up about? Y'all just having a good old time. And we did. It was, it was a blast. We will do it again soon. So again, thank you for coming and, uh, to my channel and I hope y'all subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Tell me what was your favorite thing in here. And I hope to see y'all back soon. Thanks for watching.